when you're 20 years old and all of a sudden you're the heavyweight champion of the world, just a few years ago you were poor, and now all of a sudden you're the king of the world. That's that really crazy. You know, so young, it's really crazy. I, I was I, I was unable to handle it. I wasn't expecting that. That was a really sucker punch right there. Charlie <laughs> Murphy. That's a real sucker punch right yeah. there. I wasn't ready for that one. Charlie Murphy told us a story, and it's animated. It's on YouTube now, of you and him coming over your house in a limousine, and you had a, was it a lion or a tiger? Tiger. <laughs> See, he must have with a lion, but he had the tiger. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it is one of the craziest fucking stories. I always when so for people that don't know, I got to hang out with you at one of my shows one time, and it was a great. I had the best time talking to you about everything. What made you think you could get a tiger? Like, how did that even happen? <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm in. Um, this is right? really interesting. I'm, and so um, I'm in prison at the time. So I'm in prison. I'm talking to my car dealer at the time, and he has a he has some. Um, Cars that belong to a friend of mine that's both a friend of ours, and he's discussing if he doesn't pay for these cars, I'm going to sell these cars to somebody and get some horses and stuff. I said, what, you can get horses and trade horses in for cars? Because I had a lot of cars, so I said, I'll probably get some horses too. <laughs> and he said, yeah, man, you can get, you get cougars, lions, tigers. I know this guy got excited. I said, you do? Can you get me some tigers? He said, yeah. And the what? guy told me, and the guy said, man, imagine how cool that be you be, because I had a bunch of fancy cars. Imagine that man, you be in an Aston Martin or a Ferrari, and you have a tiger right now. Next to you, man. That would be so awesome. <laughs> and I'm a young guy. I'm a prisoner. I'm saying to myself, "Wow, that would be cool, right?" I said, "Yeah, get me some cubs, man." Oh and then I, when God. I came home, I had those cubs right there waiting for me. So you raised them as cubs, yeah? Because that's how, that's how you were. Because I would see footage of you like fucking smacking them around and jumping on one of your tigers, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Oh, no, I had them since they were babies. They had their mothers. Their mother wow. since they were babies. Now, did it ever get? <laughs> this is a crazy picture. You in your underwear with a tiger on a chain. That is that is one of the that's the that champ is right like, there. That's you at peak crazy. Yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah. Tom, what was going through my mind? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what made me think about. My friend said, "Mike, you can get some awesome animals," and I'm saying, "Really? Are you serious?" He said, really? I'm gonna get some horses. Oh, everybody gonna... does it though. That was yeah. one of the things about uh, 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 what's his face from Narcos. Oh, Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar. He got like a fucking Escobar. zoo. Escobar. Yeah. yeah. Escobar yeah. had a whole crazy zoo. They all do it. Once Everybody, you get like that think, rich, you're like, just get some animals. Yeah, yeah you, you want to fuck with too. some animals. Let's <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah. yeah. get some animals. Fuck these dudes. Let's get some animals. <laughs> yeah. dude, get some animals. <laughs> and they throw people in there with the lions and tigers, huh? Yeah. Get in there, you motherfucker. That's a, it's a real common thing. <laughs> that with, like, is. like super rich people. They start and, getting lions that's right. and tigers and shit. Michael Jackson had all that stuff, too. That's right. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson and everything. Yeah, they... Hugh Hefner, Hugh Hefner too. Hugh Hefner had like a, a zoo in his backyard. That's true. But yeah. he had weird shit, like weird birds. Yeah. I don't think it, maybe he had a monkey or something. He did have weird shit. No, ca nothing dangerous. I hung up there before at the Playboy Mansion. This is at the end of his career. It was like in, what was it, 10 years ago or something? It was pretty awesome. Yeah, that guy, man, what a life he lived. Hugh? Yeah. Oh. In, in his in, um, pajamas. They're yeah. sucking his like, balls and he's 80 and shit. Oh, They're like, oh no. Into his 80s. Deep into his Deep, 80s. Yeah. Deep, Even his 90s. Yeah. That's, yeah. He, he really, here's the thing. That dude lived the lifestyle he was talking about. You know, a lot of people talk shit and yeah. you're like, you don't really do that. He was really doing it, man. Oh, he was really doing oh, it. If I start living that lifestyle, I'll be dark. I start getting dark, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You have a little, you walk. That's just amazing. Too much, uh, yeah. yeah. Too much Wait, one other, 